Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Zuka and you I'm going to be teaching you how to make Kunutunsa. I first start by processing my millet, my pale millet and sorghum. I shift it using the traditional way and then traditional materials to separate the smaller ones from the bigger ones. Most of the pale millet will be the one that will be on top with the sorghum, the bigger ones down. I've already separated them. The smaller pale ones are the one in the bowl, the smaller bowl, then the other ones in the bigger one. I add some spices to my to my um, to my millet for grinding. These are the small small ones that I will use as seed in the kununsunta. I wash them to remove the stones, and I wash like twice to remove the stones, so that and also to wash it so that it will be clean. I pour it in my um, pot of warm water. I allow it to cook. It boils. Then, it, it, then I now shift my flour. My I'm using the dry meal method. I shift my flour so that I get a smooth consistency. That is the chaff you can see. I, I'm removing it. Then I now pour it into a bowl or a rubber. Use clean water to mix it into a paste of a smooth consistency. Runny, not too thick. You can see it's runny, not too thick. Now, out of 100% of the paste I've just made, raw paste I just made, I remove about 70% and leave just about 30 or 25% in the bigger bowl where I'll be making my kunu. The smaller one, I keep the raw paste aside. Now, I carry my hot, uh, my pot of boiling water with my Tuntua inside, that's my seed, my pimples inside. I pour it inside the hot inside the paste and stir it, raising it up to make sure to, so that I reduce the heat so that the kunu cools down. And I start adding my raw paste a little bit at a time, stirring while I'm doing so. I use only about 50% of it and I keep on stirring and allow it to cool. You can see now there is no more steam coming out. It has cooled out considerably. And I'll stir up the remaining one and I pour a little at a time also, stirring at the same time. You see that after some time, the thickness will reduce. In the first process, it was very thick as I was adding, but now the thickness will reduce. It will now make, give it a smooth, sweet, runny consistency that will be easy to sip and drink. I use soya beans in this method instead of a sweet potato. Traditionally, we use sweet potato to cut the kunu so that it will be a little bit runny, but I use soya beans. You can now take it, you add sugar or milk depending on your taste, but I take mine like that.